The following is a presentation of the United Wrestling Network. Championship Wrestling presented by Pro Shingle. It's our first big blockbuster special, Coastline Clash. Welcome. We've been talking about it long enough. Oh, yeah. Part one of our three episode coverage starts right now. I'm Maria and he's Dustin. Thanks for joining us. The weather is absolutely heating up outside, but the action in Coastline Clash is even hotter. We're going to see grudge matches, special guests, and every single championship will be on the line. Plus, we're going to tell you where you can catch us next. Our main event features two of the brightest stars to ever set foot inside a United ring, but that's about all they have in common. Right. The spoiled silver spoon fed snob MJF takes on a man of the people, former United TV and Hollywood Heritage Champion Willie Mack. Willie Mack's also a former NWA national champion as well. In these next few weeks, we'll have every single match feeling like a main event. I mentioned special guests and just wait until you see who we have involved in today's six-man tag match. The Chairman, L.A. Park, yeah. Kikatoro, Joey Ryan, and more in six-man action. But first, we are kicking things off with the United Tag Team titles. Last time we saw the tag team division in action, every single team was at each other's throat in a wild brawl. But the United Tag Team titles, they're on the line next. And Reno Scum is defending against the Soul Burners. Double Platinum and Rock Nest Monsters in a fatal four-way elimination rules match. Let's head to the ring. Oh, yeah. The following contest is a four-way elimination match for the United World Tag Team Championships. Introducing first, at a combined weight of 400 pounds, the team of Ryan Taylor and Thomas Day, the Soul Burners. Thomas Day's got the bongo. If only Ryan Taylor had the maracas. Uh, the band's almost together. But will they be playing a drum solo all over their opponents? Four-way tag team title matchup elimination rules. This an incredible way to kick off Coastline Clash. Introducing team number two, representing Jamie Iovine's upper class, the team of Chris Bay and Sway Thompson, Double Platinum. Double Platinum would love to put some gold back around their waist. The former tag team champions, members of Jamie Iovine's upper class, they lost the titles recently to the Reno Scum in a match that was to be a triple threat, but this, of course, will be a four-way battle, elimination rules. When a team is pinned, a member of a team is pinned or forced to submit, that team will be out of this matchup. This thing's gonna be incredible. Gonna be wild, Todd. And introducing team number three from the Nebula Emission Spiral, BHK and Yuma, the Rock Ness Monsters. I feel like I'm in a time warp. I feel like I'm back in the Galaxy Theater. The Rock Ness Monsters were fixtures in the early episodes of this program, and the Saurian 2 is touched down right back in Orange County, Orange County California. Yeah. Long, long time tag team, multiple time champions. Four times to be in fact. Four time champions, Todd. This team is dangerous in a match like this. And, and introducing here come the, the champion and defending from Reno, champions. Nevada, at a combined weight of 470 pounds, they are the United World Whoa. Tag Team. Ch oh. Whoa, whoa. The Reno Scum are going to be right in home in this kind of environment. This is going to be more akin <laughs> to a bar fight. There's supposed to only be two people in the ring at once, but this is broken down immediately into what, in essence, is a four-team tornado match. Looks more like a battle royal yeah. at this moment. Yeah, good luck having control of this one. I thought, you know, this match might break down later, but, man, did that start right away. 
How are you going to have an elimination when you have no idea who's legal? Yeah. This, huh. And who do we got still? Reno Scum still in the ring. Reno Scum working over Bay right now. The Ooh. tag team champions, as if they're clearing one, one heck of a big mosh pit. This thing isn't even official yet. Yeah. And I don't know that it ever will be. Everybody now fighting on the outside. Action outside, inside, all points in between. Luster with some hockey-like tactics on Swade Thompson. Big shot for Bay. Yeah, yeah, Luster's got double platinum down inside the ring. Thornso, he looks like he's trying to take out Soul Burners and Rockness outside, but everybody is just hitting everybody. Ooh! This thing getting physical in a hurry, and this is like an insane asylum at the Irvine Improv. A wild, jam-packed, raucous crowd. Still waiting for it to start. What a way to kick off Coastline Clash. Of course, this match has not kicked off officially. There's been no bell, but we do have two people in the ring. Yeah. And there we All go. Right. That's going to do it. Well, momentarily. Well, no. Everybody's gone. Wow. Well, there, I can say this. In this type of matchup, there are no countouts or disqualifications. So no eliminations are going to take place. At least not at the moment. All right. Now, it pains me to say this. But I think that what you were saying earlier was right. I think that maybe Reno Scum might have the best chance in this because it is kind of like a war of attrition, and they're the biggest team. This they, is, oh, oh, look at this. Geez. Whoa, yay, a little battering ram. Shades of the uh, Hall of Famers, the Bushwhackers. If, if this match ever starts, it could end really quick. Rock Death Monsters, though, tripping up the big man, Luster, on there the outside. Go. It's okay. official time. We it's did official. it. It's official. We have a match. Woo, it's a match. Everybody fighting on the outside. So we got, I'm gonna say Thornstow's legal, and uh, Chris Bay, yeah, it looks like Swade's getting, getting outed. Right now, Thornstow dividing and conquering, he's doing pretty well, but he, oh, look at this ah. on the outside. Oh no, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, Not geez. a burning man on the outside, my goodness. This is total madness. Oh, ooh. And I talked about it, the numbers game now becoming an issue for one half of the tag team champions, Adam Thornstow, oh. who takes out Ryan Taylor. There's two lethal strikers going at it, and now double platinum, taking advantage. There's the no cap. What? We might have our first, first elimination, one, and it might be the tag team wow. champions. No, not yet. Wow, was that close. Could you imagine if the Reno Scum, the reigning tag team champs, are the first ousted from this thing? I mean. Double Platinum's taking out Watts with the likes of that. It but is a wild atmosphere here at Coastline Clash. This match continues right after this. CWA Wrestling returns to Pocahontas, Tennessee on Friday, June 7th. Highway 57 West, a huge night of action is planned. You're not going to want to miss it. Doors open at 6 p.m. Get there early and meet the wrestlers. All the action starts at 7.30 p.m. and in the main event. Oh, yeah. Myself and my Maria will be in action, and I'm pretty sure somebody's going to Slap City. Plus, King Cobra, the legend himself, will be on hand. For more information and tickets, go to realcwa.com and follow them on social media. This cake batter shake is like my favorite yellow cake. It reminds me of licking the mixing bowl as a kid. Lucky you, I had to sneak a lick while it was still being mixed. Wow, that sounds kind of dangerous. It was. In fact, it was very whiskey. Don't miss out on cake batter shakes with real ice cream. Half price after eight for Sonic Nights. It's the tag team attorneys, Matt Nordvit and Paul Prather. Paul, I get asked all the time, what should I do when I get pulled over? Always be courteous and respectful. Kill the engine, turn on your dome lights as well as your hazard lights. Open your hands and keep them on the wheel at 10 and 2, and don't get out your license until the officer asks for it. Got any other advice for us today? I sure do, Matt. If you're unfortunate enough to receive a ticket or get arrested, give us a call to tag us in, and we'll handle it for you. 901-545-2TAG. Every Saturday, championship wrestling is presented by Pro Shingle. Memphis in May always means rain. You have a leak or need a repair? Or better yet, you need a brand new roof? Well, call Pro Shingle first because they make it so simple. They will work directly with your insurance company so you don't have to worry about all the complicated claims processes. They even offer financing. Waiting only makes the damage worse. Financing plans are in place to help right now. Go to ProShingle.com or call 901-258-6503 and let Pro Shingle help today. 
Welcome back, everyone, to our opening contest, a coastline clash, and what a match it is. Four-way elimination bout for the United Tag Team titles. No one has been eliminated despite a wild start to this thing. And now the Rock Nest Monsters well, doing what they do best, double teaming, clearing the ring. Little one half of weapons, great balonium, nobody home oh. there. Rock Nest Monsters so innovative. Rock this, they can get rolling like no other team. <laughs> That's not gonna work. <laughs> not gonna work on Luster. Too big, uh, too strong. Look out here. Double throttle, no. Rock nice counter. Able to avoid. Luster just way too big. Oh, the big man goes up and over. Woo. Said this thing looked like a battle royal earlier. If it was, Luster would be out of this thing. Tight quarters here in this jam-packed Irvine Improv, but they're gonna use the force. The force is with the former four-time oh. champions. Oh. Dive to the outside. Oh, but a Superman punch by Thornstow. Man, super scum punch out of nowhere. You gotta have your eyes in the back of your head in a matchup like this. That's absolutely right. Ryan Taylor, he just blind tagged himself in. Nobody knows it, but Taylor, yeah. and that doesn't <laughs> bode well. And I'll tell you what, Dan, the shot you don't see coming, the most dangerous, and that caught BHK. Uh-oh. Perfect circle. Oh, perfect circle, center of the ring. Oh, Thomas we... stay in there. Oh, springboard, moot salt. Are we gonna get our first elimination? Three. Yes. Wow. The Rock Nest Monsters have been eliminated. Wow. I would have picked them maybe my second favorite to win this match, and they're the first gone. I don't believe it, Dan perhaps favorite of many because they've won more tag team titles than anybody. Four time United Tag Team Champs. Ooh. Thomas Day in the, up in the perch on the other side. Missile drop kick. The Soul Burners, they have such a centered attitude. When this match went crazy and wild and everybody's running around and jumping, the Soul Burners kept their eyes on the prize and they've already gotten their first pinfall. But this isn't a good matchup, I don't think. The size of Thomas Day doesn't match Whoa. up well with Luster, but it did there, Tornado DDT. Oh, bringing Luster down, all of his weight bringing down right on his head, and now we're getting those sentons here. Can you imagine if the four-time tag team champions and the current tag team champions are the first two teams out of this thing? Wow. It could happen. What do the Soul Burners have in mind? They're hungry. They're the only team in this match that have never won tag team gold. That could all change after this. Going for the Burning Man. Oh, I don't, I don't know. Oh, wait, wait. Ooh, double platinum checks in, taking that out of the equation. Yeah, Thomas to eat that double super kick. I mean, that move takes so long to set up in a match like this, it might not have been the best way to go. But when you got Ryan Taylor watching your back. Ooh. Oh, 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 what man. a scissor kick. Power in those legs. Centered all right. Base head hit right in the center ooh, of the ooh, canvas. The ankle getting twisted. Johnny LaQuasto, our former t uh, commentary partner, used to talk about Ryan Taylor being the Swiss Army knife of championship wrestling from Hollywood because he's got so many weapons, so many ways he can attack you, Ooh. but so powerful is Luster. Roll up here. Oh, wow. Look at this, Two, fundamental wrestling. Three. Wow. Whoa. The Soul Burners have been eliminated. Wow, you don't see. You don't see Ryan Taylor getting taken down with a roll-up like that too often, but a big guy like Luster, wow. And now, we're coming down to find out who the new champ is, Todd. It's down to two. This becomes a traditional tag team match now, and the champions still alive, but in harm's way, as Double Platinum have cut off the ring, and the former champs are in control. Ooh. Now this, now that we've gotten all the other teams out of the way, this could almost be a benefit for Double Platinum. They don't have to worry about other teams. They can focus all their smarts, their manager can focus on Reno Scum. And hopefully, in my book, take them out. How is it ever an advantage when you have to go toe to toe with the dominant tag team champions all by your lonesome? if you're double platinum. Well, because you don't gotta watch out for Rockness. You don't gotta watch out for Soul Burners. You can focus all of your attention on the thing that's coming right at you, whatever that is. Uh, I don't think I'd headbutt Luster for a number of reasons. First, his head is like a bowling ball. Second, you might take an eye out. Honestly. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> oh, there you go. There you go. Chopping away. You got a big tree, what do you do? Take it down. Smart strategy. I think double platinum had every indication that they would be around at the end of this thing. They'd find a way, cheat their way through, but I bet this is about the last team they wanted to face. Yeah, I mean, if you got your pick, I don't think you want to go up against the champs. They have everything to lose. Two great teams Ooh, eliminated. The four-time tag team champs, oh. Rock Ness Monsters, out of here. Soul Burners, we are down to our final two teams with the oh. United tag team titles on the line. Now look at this, I have been getting involved. Hey, Thornso, he came into the ring. He jumped in when he shouldn't have. You didn't say anything when that happened. Double platinum are maestros of misdirection. That sounds about right. I like that. Print the t-shirts. I'm sure Iovine will, if he can make a buck off of them. <laughs> He's making champions too, Todd. Look at this, not even afraid. Take the big one. Don't even go for the little one. Take the big one and take the fight to him. I love seeing that out of our next chance. Do you think this comes down to the big man, Luster, having to get oxygen into that big body built for a sprint, not a marathon? Or are they trying to wear the big man down? I mean, it's tough when you get gas. I, I don't know. This match has been so wild. Everybody's been running everywhere. There's been fights outside. And they fought everywhere except for under the ring. Who don't knows what don't, Dan, don't give him any <laughs> ideas. Uh, we'll see. But here, yeah, there you go. Keep the headlock. Oh, look at this. Ribs. Little page out of the playbook, a little biggest little beatdown. Got it. Oh, oh, geez. There's the power on display. Desperation, though it might have been. Luster absolutely plants Swade Thompson. You cannot give him an ad. Oh, Thornstow, he wants it. Adam desperately wants that tag. Thornstow is fresh. He's been relegated to the outside uh -huh. for quite some time. Ooh, super scum punch. Super scum kick. Big boot upstairs. And like I said, a fresh Thornstow is an extremely dangerous Ooh. Thornstow. It's good. 50-yard field goal. He's a big guy. He's got, oh, so much speed when he hits you with those moves. The power that he is able to generate is incredible. Clothesline connects, as does the big knee oh. in the corner. And right now, the tag team champs look to be well on their way. Ooh. Wow, what a fireman's carry roll through. Oh, oh, oh. style One, points. Two, Ooh, almost retained, but not enough to keep down double platinum. Thorn's so often seen as the speed of the team, but he's still a big man. How about the athleticism with that standing moonsault? Yeah, his body, he's thick, he's strong, and he's oh, able to block the kick. Man, Reno Scum, they do such a good job watching for the attack to come. Double Platinum Ooh. doing a good job right now, though, with the double teaming. Look at this, Dragon Sleeper. Sweep in the leg, put him in a body One, bag. Two. One, two, no, two and a half. That was a deep hook, deep cover after a nice double team move. Coulda, shoulda been it. Sense of urgency here for Double Platinum. They know they've got the champs in trouble. They've got to capitalize. The referee oh. allowing some oh. leniency. Oh man, some friendly fire. But it wasn't friendly if you're Chris Bay. Look out here. Oh no, it's the Sonic producer with the bridge. Two. The champs Three. retain. Wow. Here are your winners and still United World Tag Team Champions, the Reno Scum. Reno Scum clear one more mosh pit. What an incredible, wild tag team title defense. They're at the top of the food chain and the wild tag team action will continue right after this at Coastline Clash. Dustin, Maria, hey, hey what, bring, Bird. what brings you to see me today? <sighs> oh, let me guess, Jerry Lawler. Yeah, of course. Come on, let's get you fixed up. <laughs> Crosstown Dental Group, dentist of the stars. You got that little, little cavity right there. Oh, see that? For real. 
showered by bills? It's raining cash at 745 Cash. Title loans, payday loans. I got $400. I got $2,500. And they even gave me $2 bills. I'm not a customer, but I referred my brother and got $100 referral cash. Why go anywhere else? We'll buy your loan from any competitor. Just go to 745cash.com and get started now. Go for the gold with a golden title loan. 745cash. Dirty Dutch Mantel is coming to Memphis. Championship Wrestling presents an evening with Dutch Mantel Sunday, June 9th at High Tone in Memphis. Dustin and Maria Starr will serve as special MCs while the legendary Dirty Dutch Mantel brings an adults-only night of humor, wrestling history, and drinking. Get your tickets now at championshipwrestlingmemphis.com. It's time to talk about one of my favorite places. It's Saddle Creek Saturday. Yep, Saddle Creek is home to more than 40 shops and restaurants you won't find anywhere else in Memphis or the Mid-South. Saddle Creek is a premier one-of-a-kind shopping and dining experience conveniently located in Germantown. They have complimentary Wi-Fi, yes. pet-friendly shopping, and special events year-round. I can't wait for the beer garden coming this summer, and you know we picked up your Mother's Day gift there. I don't blame you. I mean, they were voted Best Shopping Center and Memphis Most for a reason. Visit ShopsOfSaddleCreek.com for a full list of places to shop and dine. The following contest is a six-man tag team match scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from the La Brea Tar Pits, he is half luchador, half dinosaur, Luchasaurus! Luchasaurus, we saw him in recent action. And another six-man tag team encounter. The Luchasaurus has broken out of Paddock 9 and he is back to be at the top of the food chain. And introducing his tag team partner from Los Angeles, California, weighing in at 210 pounds, Hollywood's own Joey Ryan. Hollywood's own Joey Ryan, a little homecoming here. He was a fixture in the early days of championship wrestling from Hollywood in the early main events against the likes of TJ Perkins and many others. Joey Ryan's in the house looking to bring Sleazy back. And introducing their tag team partner from Las Vegas, Osaka, Japan, weighing in at 220 pounds, Kiku Taro. Comedy master Kiku Taro out of Las Vegas by way of Tokyo. Talk about an unorthodox, unpredictable team. I mean, how would you ever pre prepare for this trio? Kikitara, would you say that he rounds out the team, Todd? He sure does. And introducing their opponents. First, he is the best bug, Super Beetle. High profile matchup for Super Beetle. You saw him try and enter the PP3 this year. You got Luchasaurus on the other side. Did you know back in the time of the dinosaurs, there were beetles just like today? And introducing his tag team partner from sunny Southern California, weighing in at 3,000 butterflies, Gentlemen, Jervis! I think here in the Southern California region, we nearly had, uh, we've had 3,000 butterflies to test that theory. If that's what Jervis weighs recently with a butterfly migration. Always a party atmosphere. Gentle mania running wild. You got Gentleman Jervis, Thomas, Kid Isaac out there. Gentleman Jervis, what a run it's been for him lately. You think about that big cage match featuring Robert Baines and Jervis had a shot at the Heritage title recently and got a win over television champion Royce Isaacs. He has had some incredible big wins of late and this match would be no different. Look at all the cast of characters in there, Todd. Oh, it's wild. And you know, I think a lot of mutual respect. This is a, a match put together in the interest of entertainment, great competition. So no bad blood in here. You saw that Jervis went over there the ropes. He wasn't jumped by Kikutaro or Joey Ryan or even the Luchasaur. Going around hugging the referee too. 
And introducing their tag team partner, L.A. Park. L.A. Park, an absolute legend of Lucha Libre. And look at this, out of respect, the opponents giving him that moment in the ring. I'm telling you, you make a, you make a, a Mount Rushmore of Lucha Libre, and I think this guy is certainly gonna be there. Oh, absolutely. Look at, listen. Yeah. He's been a mainstream superstar as well. A lot of time in WCW, known at one point as the chairman of WCW. I wonder if he will be the chairman of championship wrestling from Hollywood. Separate from our wild four-team tag team title elimination bout, this one will be first pinfall or submission to score the victory for your team. Your thoughts on strategy? Oh, yeah. Okay, hot shot. Let's see. Strategy. Don't fight a dinosaur. Don't fight a beetle. I, I don't know. Stay away from Luchasaurus would be my strategy. Looks like they're going to go with uh, Super Beetle, so a huge opportunity for him. Huge in a, uh, in a big way as he's in there with the, uh, the Luchasaurus. Seems uh, a little nervous to go in there with the dinosaur. I don't know. Maybe he can bite him, getting trapped in uh, amber, and eventually we'll make some more dinosaurs. Let's see. Ooh! Big shot, and Luchasaurus does not budge. Doesn't flinch, doesn't move. I don't even know if he's feeling these. Big wind up, is this gonna do it? <laughs> Luchasaurus puts on the brakes. Oh. Oh, and a single shot takes all of the head, thorax, and abdomen of Super Beetle to the mat. One arm just throwing him across the ring, but whoa! Oh, wow, how about the agility, the athleticism? Uh, ah, he might be some sort of hi uh, a hybrid, like an Indominus, maybe an Indoraptor. Indo flipper. Whoa! Okay. A guy that size should not be able to keep up like that. I mean, the way that he can control his body and move around, the agility at that size is so impressive. Ooh. Little schoolboy uh, tactic there. Got the big man down, if only for a second. Oh, Ooh. not having that. And comes up the middle with a lethal kick. Oh, man. Adjusting those kicks in mid-kick. Luchasaurus has got some lethal striking ability. Yeah. It'll put you on the extinction list in a hurry. And <laughs> what is Gentleman Jervis going to do? Okay, I let's find out. The crowd wants to see it. I don't know if Joey Ryan or Kiku Taro are even gonna have to see any action. Whoa, oh, whoa. here we go. Things just got interesting. Oh, oh. <laughs> Kiku Taro, he wants to see what he can do. What a unique matchup. This will be Kiku Taro s squaring off with LA Park. This matchup continues coming up next. We are the dreamers. We come in a variety of colors. And styles. A variety of sizes. We come in different patterns. And different materials. We are the dreamers. Achieving your dream can take work. I just wanted to do a career. But don't give up. Changing my life. Don't ever give up. Ignore the haters. They didn't believe that I can do it and I just proved them that I can. Independence University. IU is an online college. Education online for a better life offline. So your campus is wherever you want it to be. Take classes when you want to take classes. At IU, you receive the tools you need at no extra cost. Even a brand new laptop and tablet to use in school. You're going to keep that laptop and tablet when you graduate. 
And I use career services work really hard to help you get a job. You've got to have dreams. Independence University. Education online for a better life offline. Call 1-800-893-1653. That's 1-800-893-1653. This portion of Championship Wrestling is presented by the New Wing Order. The New Wing Order food truck has hit the streets of Memphis and they're offering the best wings in a city that's known for wings. And that's not their opinion, that's the opinion of Memphians. New Wing Order has twice won the Southern Hot Wing Festival, the largest hot wing competition in the South. In addition to Memphis's best wings, NWO offers mouthwatering sliders and buffalo chicken tacos, a mm. vegan friendly avocado taco, and Memphis's one and only hot wing nachos. You tried the rest, now eat the best. You can book New Wing Order for services and catering at New Wing wingorder.com welcome back everyone a lot of posturing a lot of posing throughout the break these two have uh, not locked up as of yet uh, you know Ooh, wow. fool, fools rush in they don't want to make a mistake feeling out process if yeah. you will yeah you definitely don't want to rush this whoa and you know Kiku Taro schooled in the art of uh, comedy style, but also strong style. One of the best strikers you'll ever find. You see it there, backing up the legend. Couple of shots, but L.A. Park, ooh, one of the hardest hitters in the history of this great <laughs> sport, followed him in. <laughs> I love it. This one's a thriller, all right. Nice clothesline there by the Lucha legend. Gets the near fall. Yeah, yeah, he really, his size, he was able to just lay that clothesline in. Almost got the three, but whoa! Elbow drop now by go. Kiku Taro, getting the advantage on the veteran. Using his size, too. You know, and you forget what a big man L.A. Park is. You see a nice Ooh. quick power slam there, and Kiku Taro better reach for a tag. Two. In his uh, territory of the ring, perhaps maybe the first time for Joey Ryan to check in here. Back in his WCW days, oh. you'd, you'd see uh, L.A. Park in there with the likes of the members of the NWO and such. So he's always in there with such big opponents. You forget just how big and powerful he is. It's deceptive. Yeah, yeah, you expect... Well, I'm expecting Joey Ryan now. Here he is. Kikatara stepping out. L.A. Park stepping out. Both teams make a tag. You got Joey Ryan in there with Gentleman Jervis. Again, Jervis has shown a more physical side as of late. Oh, it might be blow pop time. Oh, oh he found a willing recipient. <laughs> I don't think they serve a, you better get a shot of something stiff if you want to kill yeah. those germs here at the Irvine Improv. Get some Everclear. Get some 151 or something. Woo! And here, for all the spectacle and everything, Joey Ryan, such a smart, technical, sound wrestler. Oh, little ball room. Oh, tickle. Oh. Little tickle fight. And, and to your point, Man. and that's exactly why Gentleman Jervis is going to try and get him out of his game plan. When Joey Ryan first debuted in the Orange County area, it was at UPW, you know, breeding ground for the likes of John Cena, uh -huh. Brian Kendrick, Frankie Kazarian, Fallen Angel, Christopher Daniels, Victoria, many others. And Joey Ryan at the time, known as the technical wizard. Absolutely, and it shows every time that he wrestles, he's very, very sound, which it have to be against a guy like Jervis. Jervis, to say he's unpredictable is an understatement. He just finds these, these ways to win matches up against the likes of Robert Baines and such. Oh, little too low, too slow. Oh, and right ah. back to the tickle. Oh, he fell for it. Ooh. Flipping the knee, enough tickling. Showing his agility now is Gentleman Jervis. Look at this. He's got the head scissors, takes Joey Ryan over. Nicely done. Last time we saw Joey Ryan here on Championship Wrestling from Hollywood, it was in a war Ooh. with Peter Avalon. Avalon was more aggressive than ever attacking oh. Joey Ryan. There's the walk off. Oh, he's pretty close to the ropes. Do you think Joey Ryan made a mistake for not going for the cover? I don't know. I mean, he, he opted to tag out. Gentleman Jervis was very close to the ropes. Maybe he didn't feel like he was going to get the pinfall and wanted to see what Luchasaurus has. Oh, Avalon man. tried to take Joey Ryan out for good. Good to see Joey Ryan back in action. Joey Ryan put up a great fight. Avalon got the win. Of course, Avalon taking on David Arquette coming up. One, two. Oh. 
That'll happen in part three of Coastline Clash coming up in a couple weeks. A match that's got everybody buzzing. Tag made to Kiku Taro. More teamwork on the side right now of Joey Ryan, Luchasaurus, and Kiku Taro. Well, I agree, but this is also the first time that we've seen somebody, or one team rather, kind of in control. We haven't seen the other team get somebody down and stay on him, but they've been able to get Jervis in his corner, or out of his corner rather, lock him up pretty well. Ooh. I laid that one in. Oh, he might just challenge him to a duel. Oh. <laughs> Answering in kind, but not kindly, was Kiku Taro tag made ah, again. to He's Joey your, Ryan. Man, to your point, they really are working together pretty well, tagging again, in and out. Again, though, I think Joey Ryan, had he gone for the cover after that walk-off, might have put this thing on ice. Could Possible, very possible. Ooh. Still to Clem coming up. You, you know, we talk about fixtures on this program. Joey Ryan, one oh. of them. Oh, whoa! Oh. What in the world? He's got that belt, that Cinturone. Ooh. Man. He was done watching Jervis get it. <laughs> Not a chair, but maybe close enough. More wild tag team action. Gentlemen, Jervis, a little fake out job. Well, oh. you know, some. Not high risk, but maybe medium risk offense. Yeah, there. he got a mid-risk jump. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, though. Look out here, the Lucha Legend. Oh, oh! my goodness, right into your lap. Oh! oh! It's take a legend home night here. And still to come in our main <laughs> event. Oh, my God. Now Kikutaro. Oh, my goodness. They're going to be comping some drinks at the improv. Oh! Super Beetle, what's Super Beetle got in mind? Ah! Into the outside. There's more action outside than inside. Black Kikitaro back in, rolled in. Beetle rolled back in. What I was going to say before I was so rudely interrupted by all this wild action was, speaking of fixtures on this program, how about former, and now we've got some sort of army crawl going back to his corner yeah. by Gentleman Jervis. Fixtures on this program, Willie Mack, the former NWA national champion, former two, you know, television champion. He'll be in the main event with MJF. Can't wait for that. Look out here, Super Beetle. Oh, oh catches him. Oh, here Beetle that. Buster, One, cover. Two, three. Oh, he got him. Wow, you got to consider that an upset. Here are your winners. Oh, the win. team of Gentleman Jervis, Super Beetle, and L.A. Park. Willie Mack, also a former Heritage Champion, and Super Beetle might have championship gold in his future. Picks up the big win for his team. More action coming your way, main event time, right after this. Welcome back to the studio, and if you're just tuning in, you missed a dominant performance by the Reno Scum, who defeated three other teams to retain their United Tag Team titles. They were able to eliminate both the Soul Burners and Double Platinum, but Dustin, we can't ignore the Soul Burners finally getting some retribution. They eliminated the tag team that they blame for Tomaste's injury, right. the Rock Ness Monsters. That's exactly right. We may never completely understand the issues between Rock Ness, the Soul Burners, and Vermin, but the fact is, when it comes to the tag team division, Reno Scum, they reign supreme. What about all the wacky and colorful characters in that six-man tag match? Oh, oh, man. Super Beetle and Gentleman Jervis joined forces yes. with Lucha Libre legend L.A. Park to defeat Luchasaurus, Joey Ryan, and a Japanese wrestling legend, Kikatoro. I love me some Gentleman Jervis. Glad to see him back here on Championship Wrestling. And how could you not like the Beetle? And even Luchasaurus, the United Wrestling Network, living up to the name by uniting wrestlers from all over the world in exciting matchups just like that. It's almost time for our main event. Don't go anywhere. When we come back, our homegrown hero, Willie Mack, goes one-on-one -on -one with the possibly the most hated man in all of the United Wrestling today, MJF. This cake batter shake is like my favorite yellow cake. It reminds me of licking the mixing bowl as a kid. Lucky you, I had to sneak a lick while it was still being mixed. Wow, that sounds kind of dangerous. It was. In fact, it was very whiskey. Don't miss out on cake batter shakes with real ice cream. Half price after eight for Sonic Nights. Looks like you're not sleeping well. How did you know? And Megan! Hey, you're that guy. The My Pillow guy. That's right, and I'm here to help you get the best sleep of your lives. <sighs> Just like all of you out there, I had problems sleeping. I had tried every pillow out there and none of them worked. That's why I invented my pillow. My patented fill adjusts to your exact individual needs and helps keep your neck aligned. My pillow will hold its shape all night long, regardless of your sleep position, for the best sleep of your life. Call or go to mypillow.com. 
Use the promo code and save over 50% with Mike's 4-Pack. You'll get two MyPillow premiums and two Go Anywhere pillows. It's one of his best offers ever. You're sleeping better. Much better. And you're looking good. Feeling, Feeling good. good. I knew you would. For the best night's sleep in the whole wide world, visit MyPillow.com. Attention current and future Medicare recipients. If you have recently enrolled in Medicare, or if you will enroll in original Medicare within the next few months, you may be eligible to get extra benefits such as dental, vision, hearing, and prescription drug coverage included in your plan. You may be eligible for an all-in-one Medicare plan with hospital, medical, and prescription drug coverage combined together in a single plan that may include extra benefits such as hearing, dental, and vision for one affordable payment or, in some cases, a $0 monthly plan premium, regardless of your income. Medicare Enroll America will help you shop plans to find affordable prices and the right coverage for you, even if you're already enrolled in original Medicare. Are you eligible for a Medicare Advantage plan and possibly a $0 monthly premium? Regardless of pre existing conditions, call 1 800 274 0105. To speak with a licensed insurance agent now, call 1 800 274 0105. Every Saturday, Championship Wrestling is presented by Pro Shingle. Memphis in May always means rain. You have a leak or need a repair? Or better yet, you need a brand new roof? Well, call Pro Shingle first because they make it so simple. They will work directly with your insurance company so you don't have to worry about all the complicated claims processes. They even offer financing. Waiting only makes the damage worse. Financing plans are in place to help right now. Go to ProShingle.com or call 901-258-6503 and let Pro Shingle help today. Main event time here on part one of Coastline Clash. And for the second consecutive year, MJF returns to Coastline Clash. Last year, Maxwell Jacob Friedman defended his CZW title against Sway Thompson, who cashed in the PP3. And now MJF finds himself in the bright lights of the main event. It wouldn't be a celebration of all things championship wrestling from Hollywood without this man. He's gone on to become an international superstar, and it all started right here on this program. His journey to become the television champion went on to become a heritage champion, NWA national champion. You've seen him on Impact Wrestling, the NWA, Lucha Underground, but it all started right here. Truly one of our homegrown heroes. Did, did you miss anything, Todd? Willie Mac has done everything. Everything. But is he going to be able to get MJF? Here to set the stage for our big week one Coastline Clash main event, Adnan Qureshi. The following contest is a singles match scheduled for one fall. Introducing first to my left from South Central Los Angeles, weighing in at 200. Get out of my ring with your dollar store suit. How about we introduce the only guy on this show that matters? Ladies and gentlemen, you are looking at Maxwell Jacob Friedman. And right here is everybody's favorite little wrestler, Willie Mack, whatever. Oh, you guys like Willie Mack, huh? Yeah? You know what, Willie? You know why these people love you and hate me? It's because you remind them so much of themselves. Out of shape, California scum. And that's why I'm better than you, and you know. <laughs> oh, oh, Willie Mac has heard quite enough of that. Willie Mac yeah. stomping a mud hole in MJF, not endearing himself to the fans here in the Irvine Improv or Willie Mac. Willie Mac never met a fight he didn't like. 
Yeah, he really, he got tired of what MJF was saying. He really laid in that right hand, took MJF right down to the mat. A lot of, mm. lot of buzz. Yeah, he's lot reeling of, back. A lot of buzz between uh, both of these guys recently and what they're doing. Willie Mack with Impact Wrestling. Marcus Jacob Freeman, hold on, quiet please. Oh my goodness! <laughs> oh, so might have to hard. take an initial off that name. I mean, that can register on the Richter scale when Willie Mack chops you. Crowd wants another one. And I don't know if uh, I don't know if uh, MJF's going to be on another episode of Being the Elite anytime soon after that. Whew. If he does, he's going to be wearing a whole lot of red. Oh, there you go. See, that's the MJF that we were waiting to see. Smart finds his opportunity and attacks. MJF is resourceful. He's a wily veteran. He thinks he's better than everybody. He thinks he's better than all the fans, thinks he's better than Willie Mack. Well, when you're in there with Willie oh. Mack, you better be prepared to prove it. Yeah, you got to have confidence going into Willie, with Willie Mack. I mean, if you, oh, there, he, there's that confidence. If you show any weakness, if you're afraid, if you doubt yourself, Willie, he's going to find that opening or make that opening and take the fight to you. MJF's coming at him since the beginning, almost. What was that all about? Is MJF going to compete in the Fargo Strut Contest in next year's Cauliflower Alley Club? Compete? No competition at all. He'll take home the title. Snap Mayer, and I'll give him this. He's turned the table of momentum in this thing. He has neutralized Willie Mack. He's slowed down Willie Mack. But he better not make the mistake of thinking that Willie Mack is out of shape and doesn't have a big gas tank, because Willie can go. I mean, he moves like no one I've seen. A man at his size should not be able to do the things physically that he does. There you go. Don't give him an opportunity. Going right back to the midsection. MJF in control. He has turned the tide. Can it stay that way? We'll be back with our big main event right after this. Crosstown Dental Group is not your average dentist. Everything at Crosstown Dental Group is easy and fast. That's why it's called the Undentist. No dental insurance? No worries, because they created Smart Mouths Club just for you. Simply pay a monthly fee and get year-round dental care at discounted prices. Stop by, meet the staff, and see the space. They're all one of a kind. Dirty Dutch Mantel is coming to Memphis. Championship Wrestling presents an evening with Dutch Mantel Sunday, June 9th at High Tone in Memphis. Dustin and Maria Starr will serve as special MCs while the legendary Dirty Dutch Mantel brings an adults-only night of humor, wrestling history, and drinking. Get your tickets now at championshipwrestlingmemphis.com. Attention, those who have used Monsanto's Roundup Weed Killer in a commercial setting and developed non-Hodgkin's lymphoma cancer. In the past year, juries have decided that Roundup Weed Killer caused plaintiffs to develop non-Hodgkin's lymphoma cancer. If you or someone you know were exposed to the Weed Killer Roundup in a commercial setting and later developed non-Hodgkin's lymphoma cancer, call us right now. You may be entitled to financial compensation. Call now, 800-573-5630. We are the dreamers. We changed the world. Because we don't give up. IU can help you live your dream. IU is an online college, so your campus is wherever you want it to be. Take classes when you want to take classes. You receive the tools you need at no extra cost. Even a brand new laptop and tablet to use in school. Call IU, then tell them your dream. Call 1-800-604-0483. That's 1-800-604-0483. Looks like you're not sleeping well. How did you know? And Megan! Hey, you're that guy! The My Pillow guy! That's right, and I'm here to help you get the best sleep of your lives. <sighs> Just like all of you out there, I had problems sleeping. I had tried every pillow out there, and none of them worked. That's why I invented My Pillow. My patented fill adjusts to your exact individual needs and helps keep your neck aligned. My pillow will hold its shape all night long, regardless of your sleep position, for the best sleep of your life. Call or go to MyPillow.com. Use the promo code and save over 50% with Mike's 4-pack. You'll get two MyPillow premiums and two Go Anywhere pillows. It's one of his best offers ever. 
You're sleeping better. Much better. And you're looking good. Feeling, Feeling good. good. I knew you would. For the best night's sleep in the whole wide world, visit MyPillow.com. Welcome back. MTF going for the cover Ooh. as he got the best of Willie Mack throughout the break. Methodical pace, trying to wear out the big man and take away all that high-impact offense from Willie Mack's uh, playbook. And look at this now. There he goes again. He, he has been working the midsection. The only downside you might be able to say, I think maybe you can. I haven't seen it very much. Maybe he's trying to, like, burn out Willie Mack. Try to use all... Oh, there he's grabbing. Little assist. Little tried and true with the abdominal stretch, but getting the added leverage. He's gone from the bear hugs. He slipped the kitchen sink. He's got the abdominal stretch. I, He's going all midsection on the big man. I'll tell you what, though, with this partisan crowd, oh. I don't think uh, MGF's going to get away with it. I think the the, the crowd in the house is going to be all too willing to yeah. inform the official of MJF and his misdoings. Yeah, they should really just let the wrestlers wrestle, and they can just stay in the stands. Oh. Really hitting it in, Willie Mack. County administered here. Oh, he's got to be careful. Flirting with this. Oh, the referee getting physically Whoa. involved. And now a hip toss by Willie Mack, but a lot of damage on the Ooh. shoulder and to that rib cage. But Willie Ooh. Mack, adrenaline can do wonders. Yeah, he's hitting him so much, but everything he's got, he's got to lift up through that midsection. Oh, let's see the kip. Oh, can he do it? Yes, back. Oh, yeah. Incredible, but it was costly. Standing moonsault, Willie hits it, center of the ring. But the ribs, the damage of the abdominal stretch, slow to cover. And had he covered uh, immediately, capitalized, maybe he would have gotten the pin. Yeah, you're going to see with Willie Mack later in this match, if he gets an opportunity, is he going to guess about that frog splash? Is he going to second guess? You don't know, because now he's got a hurt middle. Look at that. Just Struggling to get over to MJF. Well, I think we're going to find out because Willie <laughs> Mack is is putting MJF right into the drop zone, yeah, partner. They're going right there. Let's see what he's doing. Looking for that uh, six-star frog splash. Oh, it turns in midair, and that turn might have cost him Ooh. a little too much time. MJF trying to capitalize. Oh, I think he was going now into a single leg crab. Is this what we're going to see when Peter Avalon is in there with David Arquette in a couple weeks? A variation of the Golden Arch, and Willie Mack is in trouble. Yeah, Willie, he's got to get to the ropes. He's had so much abuse to that midsection, and now, now just getting wrenched back. Ooh, ooh, he's got to get out. And you're not going to have spring, and Willie Mack gets to the safety of the ropes. That will break the hold, but residual damage done. Yeah, and MJF taking a few extra seconds on the hold, holding it in there, now taking his time. Look at Willie down. You don't see that often, Todd. I, I agree. This methodical pace is working. Tried and true offense, not taking too many risks, not making mistakes as MJF. It was fundamental. It was an, an abdominal stretch, in essence, yeah. that put Willie Mack in this position. Yeah, some bear hugs, some abdominal, a little knee. Yeah, it's... It's weird seeing Willie down like this. Oh, look at just taking out everything Willie can do. You know, we talk about Willie's physical prowess, but to MJF, he is built. He's a big, thick guy, too. Uh-oh. 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 If you're going to try and take Willie Mac out, you better get the job done. Many have tried. Many have failed. That's why Willie Mack, one of the most decorated athletes in the over eight-year history of championship wrestling from Hollywood. And Willie Mack right at home in the main event. And that fist fighting a home on the face of MJF. What in the world? He spit right in his face. Ah, uh, whoa. And now goes to the eye. How many shortcuts is this guy going to take? He knows them all, Todd. Let's find out. Bull head is down. Oh, Willie Mack goes upstairs. Nice Inzaguri. Yeah, caught him running in, too. Oh, this man. Dan Joseph, this turns into a slugfest. That doesn't bode well for MJF. Willie Mack looking to seal the deal. Ooh. Only a count of two, says the official. I mean, it doesn't bode well with a, with a healthy Willie Mack, but you get a lot of your power and strength driving through the midsection, and that's been taken away from Willie Mack. His strikes won't have the same power they normally do. Well, it looked pretty good when he just left his feet a couple of times over, partner. I, I agree, and it could have been a three count, but it wasn't. And that's what I'm talking about, that that he's going into the reserve gas tank is oh, yeah. Willie Mack. 
But again, you, you see it here. Precious time ticking away, not able to push the advantage, not able to keep the full court press is Willie Mack right now. Yeah, yeah, he's digging deep just to stand up, let alone keep fighting forward. A little rope assist while he's standing. When, you're, when your ribs are compromised like that, and you're a big man like Willie Mack who needs that oxygen, how tough is it to even catch a breath? It's, it's, it's incredibly difficult. Watch out, ref! Whoa. Getting the, oh. oh no, the referee's back was turn a blatant low blow, not like this, on one of our biggest events. Two. Two. Wow, too much power. Wow. Wow. Are there any lows that MJF will not be willing to stoop to in this main event matchup? Oh, I, I, I want to talk about Willie Mack. Could you imagine how, how he kicked out of that? He got walloped, walloped right down low, and he was able to kick, uh-oh. Well, you can't put your hands on an official and MJF. I think MJF might want to get disqualified just to get out of here, quite frankly. Yeah. <laughs> Uh-oh, don't turn around. You're not going to like the view. Stutter! Maybe going to dish out some more. Willie Mack, look out here. Oh, a little throwback action. Chocolate Thunder One, Driver. Two, three. Oh. Here is your winner. Willie Mack! Chocolate Thunder Driver by Willie Mack, and revenge is sweet indeed. Let's take a look back at the action. Let's. Brought to you by Championship Wrestling from Hollywood. Coming up, Father's Day at the Canyon Club in Agora Hills. HollywoodWrestling.com for tickets. The low blow, the roll up, MJF thought he had stole it, thought he had it, but now the stunner followed up by a little old school chocolate thunder driver, Willie Mack, victorious in our main event. More to come next week, including the Heritage title on the line as Coastline Clash rages on. Part one of Coastline Clash 2019 is in the books and what a way to oh, start. Man. Three main event caliber matchups and so much more to come. Willie Mack picked up a big win over MJF to close out this week. Boy, did he look good in there. Let's take a look at next week in part two of Coastline Clash. Ray Rosas is looking to end the hyper optimism movement with Jordan Clearwater in his corner as he takes on Dickie Mayer. Plus, in a huge main event, Andy Brown continues his Heritage title open challenge, and he'll be defending against Ranchero Rogelio. And you know Howdy Price's loud mouth will be out there too. Yeah, he will. Actually, I love Howdy Price. He's a guilty pleasure of mine. Don't forget, we're also going to learn who the next challenger for the Heritage title will be after next week's Fatal 4-Way number one contenders match kicks things off on part two of Coastline Clash. That happens next Saturday, but before that, be sure to catch us next Friday night, June 7th for CWA's June Jam. Oh yeah, that's exactly right. Myself, alongside my lovely Maria, and the legendary King Cobra is gonna be there. It all happens at the LeVon Stone Don Bass Arena. Doors open at 6 p.m., bell time 7.30. Come out and see live wrestling action. And did you see Dutch Mantel is coming to Memphis? I can't wait for that. <laughs> right now, I'm headed out to Saddle Creek Saturday to get an early start on my Father's Day shopping. We will see you all next week.